so uh, actually I'm gonna tell you a quick story about my tooth to save you without you bumping into me. I am so over wrapping presents I could not even tell you. I got this ginormous fishing rod for my dad so it's like the full length of my room and I wrapped it because he knows what it is so like I don't know I just want to wrap it I think it's fun um and usually each year I get like a big present like something that my friends or family wouldn't get for themselves but they've always wanted like I always I've gotten my dad three Kindles now I think yeah, I think he's on his, like, third generation of Kindle and, like, got my mom and, um, a Kindle and an iPad and, like, things like that. But I didn't buy the iPad just for myself. <laughs> um, but usually I do that and I do that for my friends as well. Um, you know, well, I don't want to say for, because some freaking will watch this and they never watched my videos before they'll watch this one that I tell them about like Monica watched the video that I show her present in, and I'm like oh my gosh um but usually I get Lindsay I did I got her like a couple other little things just because I couldn't help myself um but this year I got like lots of little things for everybody because they just had such cute little like gift sets and stuff well, I have probably, hmm, like, not exaggerating, I have to guess, probably 15 boxes to mail out. Like, it's probably going to be a little over $100 just to mail things out for this year, which I've never done that before either. Um, but I just couldn't help myself. I had to wrap every little thing because I'm like, well, they're going to open the box and then, like, they're going to see the present. And, like, because, you know, with boxes that you get, you never know if you should like just leave them as they are and put them under the tree and then they kind of look junky because it's like this Amazon box or whatever under the tree or if like you open them and everything is wrapped inside then you can like take the things out and put them under the tree or do whatever you want um so I decided to wrap every little thing when I had a little bit of energy at night and honestly I cannot even tell you how many presents I wrapped I mean, take 15 and minimum 5 gifts each. Yeah, so I got um, uh, two boxes in the mail today, and I was like, good lord. Um, one of them was from S Sephora, and I knew I ordered that, and I'm like, I don't even want these. I don't even want these. Like, I'll just like put them in my stocking or something. I don't want to even give them away because I don't want to have to wrap them. Um, and then the other one I opened up and it's for my cousin. And if you've watched my videos from the very beginning from when I was here before, you saw I did a Mac haul because she sent me like a box full of Mac makeup and I opened it. Um, cause I looked all over it and I couldn't see who it was from. And then finally I saw this like little thing that said her name and I was like, hmm, but I didn't know she would send me something like, uh, the year before I had asked her if like, um, I think I asked, I don't know what had happened, but I think I had asked her like, we were communicating more and talking more and I don't know actually to be honest with you I don't remember what happened that she sent me that big box but she kind of like you know because she gets lots of free things and gift sets and stuff like that and a lot of stuff she doesn't like so she just like puts it in a box for me and then she sent it to me and or like things that were limited edition and not offered anymore and um, I you know freaking love all that stuff um, so I opened up the box and there were peanuts on the top and that's the last, last time she shipped it to me there were peanuts like because I remember opening it and peanuts going like everywhere and there were still peanuts like under my bed because they went everywhere and I saw something from Mac and I was just like <laughs> she said it is seven I when I picked it up I was like man this is heavy it was seven 
pounds of I'm just envisioning seven pounds of MAC makeup that's all I'm envisioning um but I didn't look any further I asked my mom to look because there was a card for me and then there was a card for my whole family and it was, had the cutest card I'll show it to you guys tomorrow it's so cute um but it also like just made me so sad that everything has just been such highs and lows this Christmas like card was so cute as us as English bulldog or just a regular bulldog maybe and um it was just like all of its wrinkles and you could like feel them but um one of my friends her just lost her um just lost her bulldog and oh man like right before the holidays like that and her dog was like Bella to me like you know when you're chronically ill like I see my dog more than I see anybody on this earth and I have a feeling that's the same thing for her I mean I don't know but um when you're chronically ill like usually the person you live with but I don't even see my parents as much as I see Bella she's just always with me and that's how her dog was with her so she's another puppy and I'm just like oh my gosh like but my mom came in and told me the story because um, as you guys know, Percy, Persephone, my dog, Percy, she hasn't, um, been feeling so great, and, um, uh, that, I mean, not the way that Bella was not feeling well, she has been having tr limping, and she's 15, I think, she's 15, so she's pretty old, but she's a, um, purebred border terrier, and they live pretty long, and she was bred really well, um, so I'm hoping that she has like at least five more years. But uh, she was really bad, I guess, this morning. And my mom starts telling me this. And I'm like, Mom, like, <laughs> can you please not tell me that? Like, I don't want to know that. Like, no. But then I guess Toby was like really trying to play with her because he's younger. He's Bella's age. I think he's like a little bit younger. He's the youngest out of all of our dogs. Actually, Charlie is now. I always forget about Charlie. But, um... And then Percy started playing with him, and it's just like, geez. And my mom had to, like, stop her, like, stop playing because you're going to be hurting after this. But I think she's just getting older and has those, like, aches and pains that dogs have. But it's so hard to tell because she doesn't ever complain about pain. So it's really hard. Like, to, like Toby, my dog, oh, my gosh, if you even, like, flick your foot at him, he, like, screams. And, like, if you have a dog that screams, you'll be laughing right now. But dogs actually scream. Like, he screams, like, at the top of his lungs, like a little girl. You don't even have to touch him. And, um, I don't think he was abused or anything when he was, before we had him. And we've never laid a hand on him. But he just is very cautious. Um, and very sensitive. Uh, but, yeah, he just... He will like, oh my gosh, and if you're like trying to mess with him at all or like get a little pricker off of him or something, he just like freaks out and screams, but Percy like just sits there and takes it. So for her to like complain or do anything, it's so hard to tell how much it's like actually hurting her. I don't know. <sighs> but I'm trying to not think about the negative things and just pray about them like each time they come to mind just pray about them and try to get into the spirit more and more so for my parents because you know this has just been really hard on them and really depressing and you know we got here to like really be in the Christmas spirit and spend Christmas here and then I got so sick and was just like in this dark dank room like that I'm sure smelled weird from sick bed for a week and a half and just oh it was just awful and then, but now we're, you know, I'm trying to get more in the spirit and I love wrapping presents, but yeah, I'm definitely done for this season. Um, now I'm just like looking at all of the gifts and I have to cover up like packing labels that were already on the boxes and write people's addresses and whatnot down. I'm just like... <laughs> done it felt like I was done after I started wraps was done wrapping but I'm not but um 
Yeah, I'm just gonna take it easy right now because I'm real tired, but um, if I have another sleepless night, I haven't been sleeping at night, so that's when I've been doing all this stuff. Um, so hopefully, well, not hopefully, but I mean, if I don't, if I have another sleepless night, I'll be get that done. Um, and whatnot, and my cards got sent out, which I'm just that's really what I'm happiest about because I don't think these packages will probably get to people by Christmas, but um, at least people will get my cards because I, I worked real hard on those. I was actually in bed sick when I did those, not not like contagious sick, um, but you know, with this thing. Um, yeah, and then my best friend, she just found out that she has a um, non-functioning saliva gland, and that's why she was in the ER, because we went to the ER same day, I think almost the same day, or maybe she went in the day before, I don't know, it was like real crazy around that time, but I was like, oh my gosh, how can both of us be in the hospital at the same time? And her, like, whole side of her neck was swollen. I was, my whole face was swollen up here. I'm like, what is going on with us? But, um, yeah, I guess they have to, like, do an x-ray of it or check it out or something or other. And um, I'm just hoping that she doesn't have to have surgery and they can do something else for it. Because I didn't even know saliva glands could get plugged or have stones or whatever it is it is going on with it but um yeah I just hope that she doesn't have to have a surgery and that it helps because it has gone down in swelling so I'm hoping that that's a good sign I don't know I don't know anything about saliva glands so um what story I was going to tell you guys about my tooth I was going to tell you I was going to apologize for telling you talking about my tooth more and then I was going to tell you a story oh when I was at the dentist or at this oral surgeon um he oh the nurse told me that she, when she gave it to me it was like the biggest thing I was like oh my gosh like what's she going to tell me and she was like do you have dogs and I was like yeah I have a dog and I thought she saw my dad with Charlie because he came with my parents when we all drove together and I thought she had seen him or something and she was like don't leave this out, my flipper. And I was like, okay. And she was like, your dogs will get a hold of this. They will jump up. They will take it and they will chew it up. Do not let them have it. And I was like, what? And um, I said, well, because I said to her, we have four dogs, but only one's mine. And um, I said, my dog's Bella. And like, I didn't know she was like, I thought she was just making conversation. And then she said, don't let her get a hold of it because she will chew it up like rawhide or like one of her toys. And I just like, I think I probably like smiled a little bit because she was like, I'm so serious and you will not believe how many people it happens to. And I was just like, if she only knew my dog. <laughs> Bella has never touched a toy in her entire life other than to rescue them, but she won't touch them unless they've been played with by the other dogs, like if they have the other dogs scent on them, because remember when I bought her all those new toys, and then she wouldn't, she didn't rescue them until I gave them to the other dogs, and then she started rescuing them, and she's doing it here as well, but um, it just made me laugh, because I was just like, oh my gosh, if she even knew my dog, my dog has never touched a toy, a bone, raw, she doesn't even know what rawhide is. Um, but yeah, I can see how they would do that, but, uh, the other dogs definitely probably would chew on it, but Bella, there's no risk of that. Taking multiple naps and squeezies, yep, there's a risk of that. Alright, well, I hope you guys are having a pain for a stress-free day, and I'm sending out X double O's, and for some freakish reason, Bella knows that that's when I'm saying goodbye to you guys, because she wakes up. Isn't that freaky? Yeah, she knows. So, <laughs> hopefully I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!